Hey guys, today we wanted to bring you back to give you a small update on where we are with the new facilities that we're building. We have come further. We essentially at the stage where we're two weeks away from moving. We are now getting to the point where we're deciding on the branding features and what we're doing. So essentially the stage we're at now is it's a white canvas ready for people to move into and start using. Since the last update for our office, we have actually done a lot of progress. We are about two weeks from moving in. The office right now is at a stage where uh, it is 98% completed. When I was over there earlier today, they were cleaning windows, which is a good sign. Behind me here, we have the content room. We have not yet decided exactly how it's going to look like, but we have uh, at least some ideas. Essentially, the stage we're at now is, it looks a little bit more usable than last time. Last time we did the recording uh, for you guys to see, it was essentially a construction site and a raw building. Now the glass walls are up, the ceilings are up, the ventilation is up, all the electricity and fibers have been pulled, heating is in, blinders for windows, the floors are laid, and we're at the cleaning stage uh, of the whole space before we move in. The build of the office have been somewhat challenging. We are situated in Stockholm, which is very difficult to find the proper spaces that we want. The city is quite old and the office spaces around here is in many cases old apartments that have been converted over to office spaces. So when we found this space, we were hunting for something industrial, large ceilings, it needed to be a very big open space so we could customize it to tailor the need of the players. Just because in and a pre-built space that was used for something different is very hard to fit what we were looking at as a team. And especially hard when it comes to the competitive aspects and, and what we need to provide the players to perform and play better and develop. Also with regards to content creation, with having studio facilities, editing room, design isolation, we probably spent around a year just scouting for spaces. And when we got to that point where we finally found what we were looking for and that we saw potential in, uh, we were lucky enough that it was in the area where all the game publishers in Stockholm sit. If you guys remember from the last update video that we did, you should check that out if you haven't checked it out. This is where we're building the fan activation area. Right now it's uh, a finished uh, black canvas. Everything is laid and essentially ready to move into. When we arrived here today, they were cleaning the windows. So we're getting fairly close to where we can start uh, uh, putting the NIP touch on the whole facility. The architect process um, and developing how it was going to look turned out to be a little bit more challenging than we first anticipated. The architects did not really understand what we were building. Our world is a little bit Greek for them. So when we started uh, coming with all our demands on sound isolation for the studios, um, when we were building the gaming rooms and the very particular setups we needed to have there, there's a lot of things that you don't really think about as issues when you're doing something. And for us, it was kind of very obvious how we wanted it to work and how it wanted to look. But when you're sitting with professional architects that we engaged in this project and trying to explain them what we do as a business, uh, it took another year for us to get where we are today with having the facilities finished. Down here is where we have built the gaming part. Essentially here it will be uh, a meeting room, we're also installing VOD capabilities for our team to use it with drawable screens and so forth. Down here we have two permanent uh, gaming rooms. Um, the architects had no idea what we we're talking about when we were doing gaming rooms. They were just like, hey, are you guys doing meeting rooms? Just like, no, these need to be a little bit more advanced than what you would do. And what I mean with more advanced, they had no idea if you look at the walls over there, why we needed all the outlet socket sets and fiber optics built into the wall. Essentially, we're raising up all the PCs and branding this uh, room. And for them, they were just like, okay, we, we trust you. So we're just gonna put that in. So they are uh, almost ready. The only thing that we're missing here is to lay in the fibers, which comes out from the wall. Um, one room for uh, Dota, one room for Counter-Strike. What we are opening now in two weeks is a project that I'm super proud of that we have done. Um, when I started here three years ago, I didn't envision this coming this fast, but the facilities that we are opening uh, 
will allow us to take the business so much further in terms of content creation, in terms of staffing and resources, in terms of the facilities that we offer the players, in terms of training, development, boot camping, uh, team building. If you follow me behind here, we are getting to a point where the kitchen area is, is done. Uh, essentially, the raw construction is up. We're in, installing uh, all the appliances for it. Uh, the fridges will be up, the table, we're putting in some arcade machines in here, and essentially a social space for staff and players to eat uh, and hang out. What is exciting about NIP is also the local heritage that we have, and with particular this being in the downtown area of Stockholm, we will be able to to open the office up for partners, for fans, for publishers that sit in the area. Uh, so personally, I'm super excited. And the progress for me since we, we started building has been, been, been super quick. When I arrived there today, I didn't think they would be uh, where they are. It's essentially just wiping down and then and testing that the plugs in the wall work. Um, and that's the stage we are at now. We just recently hired a facility manager, uh, which is going to be dealing with all suppliers that we have, the daily operations of it. We uh, There's a lot of things that you don't think of about uh, insurance, locking systems, signing, NDAs for visitors. Uh, what is your suppliers for coffee machine, food and beverage, uh, office supplies, all of these things. So. There's just a few details left, and then I feel like we are very much ready to uh, open and use the facility uh, for the next chapter of what we're doing.